when you win two championships in a row, how many do you win? Back to back championships, huh? Hey, Beercrats, I'm Paulette. And I'm Eric, and my beard is back. <laughs> or is it Fock? <laughs> so we started our European sour journey in Germany. And it started sour, yes. And then we went to Belgium. And then went to Belgium. And now we're back in Germany to talk lagers. Mm -hmm. Specifically, this episode, we're talking box. <laughs> we're Bach to box. We're Bach to Germany. First up is a traditional Bach, which hails from the north of Germany, from a city called Einbeck. And in the south of Germany, in Munich, they would translate it as Einbach because of their accent. So it just became known as a Bach beer. And Bach means billy goat. But this style dates back to the <laughs> 14th century. <laughs> and is it's a pale lager, just like a pilsner would be, but it's much more malt forward. So a tad bit sweeter, but still got that biscuit biscuitiness to it. Mm. Let's throw it Bach. I'll do Bach. You don't sense the taste until it's in the Bach of your throat. <laughs> So, because that um, translation, Bach, Billy, Goat, or Ram, sometimes you'll see those on the label, so you know you've got yourself a Bach. Um, Bachs are definitely stronger in alcohol than Pilsners. 6.7% from what I'm reading. Yeah, yeah, this one's like 6 to 7%. So they're not session beers, and this is a tall boy. It's like, you know, take your time drinking it. Mm -hmm. But not, you know, I mean, they're easy drinking in, in from a taste perspective. It's not... You know, there's not a lot there that's going to, like, fill you up. Yeah, I'm not necessarily enjoying this one all that much. Although, um, I will continue to drink it because that's what we do on this show. We drink <laughs> beer, we comment on the beer, and since it's in reference to a goat, I will say again. <laughs> Next up, we cheated and got an American beer, but it has German roots. Okay. So remember back in one of our Christmas episodes, we were talking about the uh, Christmas beer Shine from Shiner mm -hmm. that we loved. We put the candy cane in it. Yes. Same brewery. Nice. German roots because when Germans left during their like Civil War or whatever was happening in the mid-1800s, they settled in North Mexico and Texas. So that's where this comes from. Mm -hmm. This has been brewed since the early 1900s in the same German tradition as other box. Um it's a little darker than the last one we had, but uh, should be just as good. This one's brown, so it's going down. It's very malty, very malty. And the reason we chose this one over any other Bach we could have gotten, one, the German influence, but two, um, it's really well known and well distributed in the U.S., so this is something you can very easily get your hands on. And my Bach actually uh, translates to May. It's like the spring beer in Germany. It also translates to the possessive of Bach, because it's your Bach, <laughs> my Bach which you your would Bach. call my Bach. There's also a your Bach. Is there? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. So many Bachs. Bach, Bach, Bach. Your Bach, my Bach, everybody's Bach. What? I'm kind of sad that I waited so long to try beer from Shiner. Don't be sad. Because everything we've had is so good. Mm. That Christmas beer was amazing, and we're actually going to drink a similar style to that in our next episode. Oh, I can't wait. And Ooh. this is really good, and it's like, it's just a solid beer. It's not, like, too strong in one direction or too malty. It's, it's got low hip hop bitterness, hip -hop, hip -hop, <laughs> and Eric clearly hates it. Um, but wow, this is, this is a good, easy-drinking beer. It's very coppery. It is very coppery. It all is Bach. I like box. It's Bach delicious. I'm I'm a fan of box. We drank box today. Yes, we did. <laughs> one from Germany. Yeah. And one from German descendants. Other Germany. Other Germany. <laughs> Texas Germany. Uh, but stay tuned for next time when we drink Doppelbox and Icebox. Doppel ice. So yeah. much more in the alcoholic range. We're bringing more back to you. So stay tuned because that drops next Wednesday. But in the meantime, leave your comment down below. 
on what kind of box you like. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you can keep coming back. <laughs> and then follow us on the social media. Yeah, at Bureaucrats TV on Instagram, Twitter, and the Bookface. <laughs> or you can follow Eric on Instagram as Eric underscore Fontanez. That's right. I'm Eric B-Font. with a K, by the way. With a K, not a C-H. No, not a C-H. <laughs> not this time, anyway. And then on Twitter. Twitter. At Lord Fonz with two Zs. And I'm P. Font. And if you don't follow us there, who are you following? Where are you going with your life? Where are you do- what are you doing? I don't know. But what we're doing is we're drinking these, and we'll drink them on the next episode of Bureaucrats TV. Until then, bureaucracy. Cheers. Cheers. Hey, bureaucrats, need more bureaucracy in your life? Here are two more videos you should watch.